Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'll be talking about the Valorant Strategy 1 scan by Flynn. It's actually been quite a while since I made a video on it, so I'm glad that this is back. Uh, this is October 10th of the spreadsheet, but let's first have a look on the last spreadsheet, which was a couple days ago on October 4th. Here are some of, of the changes, mainly with Loud, with QCK, possibly joining Loud, and he designed Rafa and Gervin. All of them would not be joining Loud, along with Jogamo going down to possibility. EMEA, Redgar, certainly to be joined, Giants Gaming, Team Liquid, having Mystic, certainly joining them as Redgar will be leaving. Uh, Pacific, uh, Frost possibly joined Tard Esports as a head coach, and Paddy Pan likely to be staying on with the team, and then China, uh, nothing, the classic China man. So let's first start off with the Americas, and has been a lot of changes, Sentinels nothing, EG nothing, Leviathan looks like that Itapata will be the new assistant coach, I'm pretty sure I said his name correctly, it might be wrong, but Itapata, he used to coach, uh, for, oh crap, it was an EU team. Um, and I, was it Case? I'm not too sure. Uh, actually, no, no, it was Apex. So, Itapata used to coach for Apex. Um, and it looks like he's going to be joining Leviathan, which is an interesting choice, I should say the least. Cloud9, nothing. Loud is now looking uh, certain that QCK will be joining the team, along with Tuzi. Uh, he will be rejoining the team as QCK will be the new duelist. Uh, Pew would not be the head coach. It's rumored that Hot has that Onyo will be the new head coach for the team. Uh, Interesting choice. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I think Onyo is actually a pretty good choice to replace Fraud as the new head coach. I'm not really too sure how good Pew is, I'll be honest, but I mean, he did coach uh, the Union, which I'm pretty sure came third, I think, third through fourth uh, in the American Centers. So, so he's probably not too bad, but still, I would rather have Onyo considering that he has a lot more experience, especially in the tier one scene. Curry Sports, uh, I think just today it was announced that Zeddy has officially left the team, so. Zeddy is now gone, and that's looking like to be the five-man wrestler. Shy's also gone as well. I just, I forgot to mention it for Leviathan. 100 teams, nothing. Fury and nothing. G2, now is now looking likely that Jogmai will be joining G2 Esports as the duelist. NRG, nothing. And, and MIBR, they announced officially that, that Zhoujin has officially left the team. Pretty sad to treat uh, a, Valor a Valorant world champion like that, but pretty unlucky there for him. And Fraud is now looking more likely, if not search him, to be join MIBR as the strategic coach. So, let's now have a look at EMEA. Uh, Fnatic nothing, Giants Gaming nothing, uh, Foot nothing, Team Liquid nothing, Koi nothing, Karma Core nothing, Team Vitality nothing. Navi nothing, Gentlemen's nothing, and finally, let's talk about Team Heretic, because they have officially announced their roster. So, this is actually not too bad of a roster, I'm pretty excited to see how this goes. Not too bad, a bit, a bit, uh, how do we put this, a bit concerned there for Heretics, because, uh, Woot, who is on the team, but he's currently 16, and I don't know when the kickoff tournament begins, I just don't really know, so I'm a bit concerned about that, but it's pretty cool that they kept Benji Fisher, which is nice, I, I feel like he wasn't too bad, I'll be honest, in the LCQ, uh, I think Boo, he's a great IGL, I think he's also a good choice of staying, and also, and it also added Mini Boo, Woot, like I mentioned before, and Ryan's into the lineup, it's, it has a pretty good five power as well, so really excited, uh, I will be honest, uh, for this, uh, for this pretty decent team, uh, they also the coach is also got announced as well of uh, Nilzina and Weber, and also have Nick Class as well as the new manager. Uh, so not too bad of a roster, I think it's pretty good. And then BBO Esports are uh, also nothing there as well. The Heretics the only team in the EU region to make some changes. Pacific now and Pacific was let's first start with A Division, which is nothing. DRX nothing, even though I think they are on loan to a Chinese team, I can't remember what the, what the team is called, but they but they are on loan to a Chinese team, I can't remember what it is. Chinese put some interesting changes here, it's looking like Cruz, Paddy Pan is certain to be joining the team, Jip Boys is likely to be joining the team, but the main thing I want to talk about is the trial players, Tix slash Boy. Obviously Boy, he's obviously the coach for the team, so don't really surprised there, but Tixie was actually the lead rumored originally to be joining T1 before they officially announced the roster with Izu, King, and Excurit. Uh, this is 
interesting. I mean, Talon, if we haven't heard anything, I'll be honest with Talon is still a bit all over the place, so... I don't know. It's just all over the place, really, what Talon Esports is doing. It's a bit un... It's, it's a very much the unknown side of what Talon is planning to do. If they're planning to go with a mixed roster with some Thai and other countries, like a Western team, or... I don't really know, but... I'd be interested to see, but it's a bit... I just don't know what Talon's doing. It's just a bit of a... It's a bit confusing. It might be also because of Frost is in, as well as the new head coach, and he probably wants, like, a full... Or, oh, like, a mixed roster, so... That might be the reason as well. Destination uh, Frogs mean nothing. Team Secret, nothing. Even though I feel like Giant Sanity is now off the team, considering that he links goes between Team Secret and Paper Rex on Facebook. Uh, Glue Esports, nothing. Gen G, they have announced that HSK would be the new coach for the team. I'll be honest, I was a bit surprised on this one. Um, I'm not really too sure about, about, about HSK. I mean, he was part of the Detention Focus Me team that went 0 and 10. Uh, or 0 11, I should say. Or 0 12, I don't know. Whatever you want to say. He's He was part of that team. So I'm a bit, I don't really know what to really say about HSK. It's just. Uh, okay. It's just. I'm not too sure. It's just the uh, HSK is just a bit of an interesting choice, in my opinion, for Genji to go with. I think there are some better coaches. I think a racer definitely comes up by one. Um, uh, maybe Solo as well. Perry. There are some good coaches that could have been better choices for Genji uh, other than HSK as for, for Korea. But it is what it is, I guess. And they decided to get to stick with HSK, which is interesting. Paper Rex, nothing. I'm pretty sure, if there are mention Jing, I'm pretty sure he's now part. Uh, he's now officially part of the sub uh, for the team. He, uh, bleed nothing. T1 is now looking likely that Carpe will be joining, will be rejoining the team, most likely as the sixth man for the team, which is not too bad. And RQ, they have officially announced Jemkin to be joining the team, while 2G will be will possibly be the sixth player for the team. Now this is a good roster change for RQ. I think Jemkin, he performed really, really well uh, for Scars in both uh, challenges in Japan and even Ascension, other than, than that buying grand final performance. But still, he's, he's still a phenomenal player, has a, has a lot of talent behind him. Really, really excited to see how he goes in RIQ. Um, and considering as well, I mean, the RIQ's roster as a whole is actually pretty decent. And I'm guessing they're going to be... They're probably going to be communicating in English, but I'm not too sure. I mean, Flip has some really good English, I'll say that. Um, not too sure about Zephro, and uh, I don't know who the other one is. Oh, crap. I don't know how good the other player's English is. I mean, I guess Jemkins communicated in English when he was with Scars, considering that there was two Russian players and a Filipino of Yoshi, but... Oh no, this is a very, very good, uh, a very good pickup for RIQ. Big W for, for RIQ. Uh, I'll be more, that's the other one, I'll be more. I'm not really, yeah, so I'm not too sure if they are going to be speaking English. I'm guessing they're going to be speaking English. I don't know how good their English is, especially Estrella. I don't know how good his English is, but I guess we'll have to find out soon. And finally, for China, there has been actually been some changes. Uh, mainly with Top Esports 2 because will be, is likely to be joining the team. Uh, well, uh, PBDBJ, Sing, and Trinity, all those three have left the team. And JD Gaming have officially announced their roster with Zion, JNL, Farway, Simon, and Vichy. Obviously, Vichy is formerly from uh, Saint Goku Gaming and nearly as a reserve. And then Bilio and, and Koru as the coaches. Pretty sure Bilio used to be part of FPX, if I remember correctly. Uh, not too sure about everyone else. I'm guessing maybe some Tyler players. I think Farway might be a Tyler player, but I'm not really too sure. But uh, there hasn't been a lot of movement, I'll be honest, in China. Considering that they're still in Act 2, so um, no surprises there. Uh, but that is really about it from me, I guess. So I guess we'll just quickly just go through. JD Gaming officially announcing their roster. ROQ and, uh, and, and Genji announcing some players and coaches. Uh, Team Heretics announcing their full roster, and then Americas, we still don't know what the hell is happening in the America side. So that's really bad for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys on the next time. In the next one, goodbye.